So karibu sana ladies and gentlemen thank you so much once again for tuning in. Now did you see what happened to this activist called Boniface Mwangi today? <laughs> You know, it, it was very bad and actually we need to condemn such activities in the strongest terms possible. I think our police need to be very, very much careful with whatever they are doing. So for me, um, what happened to Boni Pesfumange today really disturbed me when I was seeing how the police was really handling him in a very inhumane manner. In fact, it took those human rights activists just to jam on him so that he was not carried away by the police because it was it was it was vita he was being dragged along the busy street that was a dangerous uh, you know action by the police and i think this is one of the things that um, might be related to a country being a banana republic you know there is no observance of human rights that there is no care that you know, however much those who in authority think that they can dispense such kind of authorities, they should know that people have rights. In fact, Bonfils Mwangi actually today paraded a number of people and human rights activists to go and lodge complaints about the missing people. Still right now, we have not known their whereabouts. And you see, the activism that we are having post the Genesis Revolution is now seriously noting to us that we do not have the combined unified voice. You realize that there is a way the government is capturing them bit by bit. Okay, Those you thought were very seriously doing activism, they are being captured bit by bit. And the fact that the government came up with that allegation that most of these non-governmental organizations are sponsoring them, there is now the fear. For them to come out strongly well like they used to, there is now fear. So anytime you see activi an activist coming out on board, there is that perception that could it be that a certain NGO is funding them? And the moment that conversation starts up, you know, the government is in the radar, you know, looking at them and really dismantling, even if they were being sponsored for good reason. Of course, most of the times you realize that activists are supposed to be sponsored for good reasons because they stand with the rights of the people, they champion for the rights of the people. But what we have post the Gen Z revolution is showing us that we are in a failed government and we are now having authoritarianism that is not going to give our activists opportunity to showcase to us how they can stand with the rights of the people. By force, by fire, we are back in the streets. Come on, this country is 54 million Kenyans, you know the only one who can lead us. Eh, hey, they should all go. It shall not be business as usual. It shall not be well you with you, Mr. President. This country is not a police state. The president has refused to listen to our issues. So we came here today because we had an appointment with 
the office of the president to present a list. Uh, we came with the families with one agenda, asking for justice for the victims, for the disappeared. And we still have mass police in our streets. Why are they being masked in the streets? We are asking our government, if the police are upholding rule of law, why are they coming masked? I know why are they targeting me specifically. We have told the principal secretary to go, to go and tell the president that next week shall be back here. And if there is no justice for the victims, they're going back to the streets. If there is no justice, you're going back to the streets. And we know it's not a favor by the president, it's a right by the constitution, and you're going to do it. If the president cares about this country, he should care about this man who are here. He claims no one has been abducted. We have a list of those being abducted. You have shared the list. He promised compensation for the victims. We know very well that money can never bring back any life. But if he promised compensation, it can at least help the families to pay for bills and to move on in a small way. So we're asking for compensation for the victims, we're asking for justice, and we demand for the firing of the officers who murdered innocent citizens. The crime scene is parliament. Parliament has CCTV cameras. Why is he after innocent people? If he's a man enough, murderer, after the killers of the innocent people, both of the people who violence in the streets, because none of us, none of the people who are murdered, none of the people in the streets on that particular day today were involved in the prisoner's action. Victimized by the government kids. This country has 54 million Kenyans. They're not the only one who can lead us. They should all go. Compensation, accountability, they resign and mass. What you know Kazi wetu, Ruto Nimfany Kazi wetu. He should never forget that. By force, by fire, we're back in the streets. Come on, Aktua Kudu to Ruto Basi. The state of um, where we're at today is extremely disappointing. It's been, it's infuriating. It's been over three months that Kenyans have been being murdered, disappeared, tortured, disembodied, disfigured. And today, after many different attempts by all sorts of different organizations, activists, individuals, civil society, today when we finally are able to give a list of names, Tunambiwa, oh, Asante, come on, Bao Walikwa Hawajui. Come on, Bao, his story, they're not online, there's no videos, there's no footage. These lists, these names have been circulating, burials have been aired. You can see point blank people being shot, as well as the murderers. So, how is it that three months later we're here? asking what concrete actions have been being taken, not what false promises are you going to give us today. And I was met with a lot of police brutality, I've been arrested, I've been interrogated, you know, they have violated my fundamental rights, the same way they violated the rights of the young people that we are fighting for. I think the message is very clear, that the president has refused to listen to our issues, and now he's using the state, you know, to silence us and to maim us and to kill us. It's high time that as a community, we ask the president that if you are unable to lead us, if you are unable to deal with the grievances, that we, then we better eject you from that office and get the right people that can lead us. So this is a warning message to the president. This is a warning message to the people in authority and power that you need to respect the masses, you need to give us justice, or it is just a time bomb until we come for you. We will eventually come for you, Mr. President, and your people. Because it cannot be that we are being violated, we are being killed, you know, we are being abducted, but you are, you are not apologizing, you are not investigating, and you are doing nothing. So, Mr. President, the young people, know that we are quiet at Tumashindwa. We are giving you time to behave. But it seems you have not listened. It seems you are not reflecting. And I think it is high time that the people unite against this regime and the police that are hell-bent to deny us our rights. So, Mr. President, we ask you, please respect Kenyans, please respond to their issues, please give justice to the victims of police brutality. Else, it shall not be business as usual. It shall not be well used with you, Mr. President. We um, as you might know, we, since the President said that uh, he doesn't have any list, we have made several attempts, not just here at uh, the office of the president, but also at State House, to try and deliver uh, this list. And uh, today we were confirmed and they told us to come at 2.30. But when we were out here waiting uh, to go inside, police from, I don't know, the killer cops that we've been seeing all along, masked, came 
and tried to arrest some of our colleagues and we were here with the families of victims and we are saying this country is not a police state. May God really come in too for us and help us navigate through all this because that is not something that we need to see from the men in authority.